It's hard enough to get your hands on a state championship trophy. But even more difficult when an official from the Colorado High School Athletics Association is trying to yank it back away. And I see all the cameras around, all the boys around, and I'm just like, yeah, we won. And everybody's like, yeah, we won. After Cherry Creek won their second straight title, senior running back James Walker II was a bit too quick on the celebration. Was it confusion? Yeah, I was confused because like the trophy got placed down. I picked it up, we're celebrating for a while, and then she like walks in the celebration and is like trying to take it from me as we're celebrating. And I'm just like, wait, what? I'm confused. What's going on? Like He was stripped of the hardware and slashed on the forehead. And he just could not believe it. What, what was going through your head at this moment? I think I felt the 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 trophy cut me and I'm just like, ow, like you just cut me, but like what is happening? Like we're winning, like we won, we won, like let me celebrate. I guess I just didn't really understand that she had it presented to us. 2020 sure has found a new way to leave a mark. During that game, were you injured at all? Uh, no, I was not. So during the season, were you? Uh, no. So the worst injury you had was the trophy to head fiasco. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sounds about right. <laughs> All good fun and a long time memory. It's like, bro, the picture's so nice. The picture's so nice with the blood. <laughs> James Walker II, the running back known for his vicious cuts on the football field and now on his forehead. Yeah, as soon as we got on the bus though, I was like, woo, I got a bad little mark. <laughs> It took a lot of blood, sweat, and tears for Cherry Creek to win their 11th state football championship trophy to display here in the hallways. But number 11 took just a little more blood than they thought. Scotty Gange, 9 News.